Hey right, guys, this is my author media kit and I want to show you how I made it and you'll need this for podcasts, radio shows. Now mine has gotten a little more elaborate than it used to be, but it doesn't have everything that it's going to eventually have. And what I mean by that with your media kit, you definitely are going to want at the minimum, you don't have to, first of all, let me say, you don't have to have this media one sheet. Um, I'm not going to be showing you how to make that because that's a little bit elaborate. If people would like me to make these media one sheets for their media kits, I can make those for about $25. Um, but just know that, that these are not absolutely necessary. What is necessary is for you to have an author bio. Now, I have a pretty short author bio. I know a lot of people's bios are a lot longer than mine. But in your media kit, you need your author bio, interview questions regarding your book. Now, I have a series, so that's why mine says series. But you need the interview questions um, for your book and about 10. And this is like what you want the interviewer to ask you. Um, if you see number six is just me offering, can you, me having the interview ask me, could you read an excerpt for us today? Okay. Um, and if you guys want to, because I just kind of want to do this video kind of fast. So if you guys want to, you can pause the video and read through my questions and see what type of questions I have. And then those are the type, you can kind of maybe get some inspiration or even if you want to copy and make some of those your questions. I should have had a little bit more space here between the questions and the picture of the book. And then the next thing I have is a picture of the book's full layout. Now you can just have the front cover of the book. Like I have that um, as well. You can have just the front cover of the book. I have mine the full, um, the full, the full book because it has the description right there. And so that way they can see what the description is if they want to of the books. Now, normally you would probably, a lot of you most likely are going to just have one book. And um, normally if you're promoting one book, um, you wouldn't have this many. But because mine are in a series, that's why I have this many pictures of books. You'll want to go through your files for the covers that I sent you if, if you're my client. And just... Um, You'll use those, and I'll show you step by step how to add these pictures. And this is actually a web page that I have created, and I know I'm kind of all over the place, but this is a Google Docs web page. It's all free, and I found that um, instead of leaving it as a Google Doc and turning it into a published Google Doc web page, it's going to make it easier for the interviewer to be able to get the pictures off of my page if they want to use them. Because what happens is your interviewer um, for whatever podcast or radio show or TV show, wherever you interview at, they're going to want to like share your pictures on their social media, the fact that they're going to have you coming on soon and things like that. And so they'll need to be able to pull whatever pictures they want to pull. Now this media one sheet is really just for them. It's just like a quick overview. Usually a media one sheet only has one book on it. I try to squeeze all, all the books in my series in there. That's not usually normal. But um you you in the media one sheet it just gives I didn't have enough room for the ten questions so it just gives like four it's actually two of these questions are two and one so it's like five interview questions um, a review and then how I can be contacted with my author picture and then a little short description of book one in the series as I said if you guys want a media uh, a one a media one sheet I could make that for you um, as a service. But it is not necessary. What it, what is necessary, and I know I, I'm repeating myself, but what is necessary is your author, author bio. Usually it's going to be a little bit longer than mine. Your 10 interview questions, if you guys want to pause and um, see which 10 interview questions I use, and a picture of your book. Now, it doesn't have to be the whole wide um, paperback. It can just be um, the front the front of your cover and just to be honest that's probably what they're going to use they're probably not going to use all that um i'm just extra sometimes <laughs> okay and then down here i have just included some 3d versions again you guys don't have to have all that you just need a picture of your book interview questions 
and your author bio and a picture of yourself. You do need a picture of yourself. And so down here you see I've given them two different pictures of me. And the reason I use turn my Google Doc into a published, I don't know if you guys can see this in the right hand corner, but I've I've actually published it to the web is because now they can right click on it and they can save the image down to their computer if they open it up on their phone they can save the images to their phone um, if it was just a Google Doc and not published as a as a like a little mini web web page media kit um, the only way they could do anything with it is if they had like so far as saving it to their devices is it is if they had editing access and you don't want to give anyone editing access because they could accidentally change your stuff delete something on accident so if you turn it into a publish doc then that alleviates all that and it's pretty easy to do to turn it into that I'm gonna try to go back to the original media kit let's see so you guys can see what it looks like without being a published google doc so here it, here it is without it being published to the web so you can see the difference okay and so with it being this way if i were to like right click on it um, it just says like copy, but it's not like say, well, let's see, it says image options, but see how it's like highlighting this all in blue. It might accidentally move that. It's not letting me save it. Um, the only reason it's letting me do anything with it is because I'm the actual, um, owner and again, I have editing privileges, but you don't want anybody to have editing privileges. And that's really the only way they can save your pictures unless you turn it into a um, like a little mini website for your media kit and the only and it's free so the only thing you have to do in order to turn it into a website is go to file and you just go to publish on the web I'm not gonna hit it because I've already got one out there but once you click publish on the web then it's going to turn it into this. And then when people click on it on their they can save their the images and they don't have you don't have to worry about them like editing your stuff. Okay? So how did I make this? All right, so you're if you're like me, you probably have your pics all over the place in your on your computer, on your phone, but you're going to go to so you're going to have to find your pictures and add them into your um, add them into your Google Doc. So what you're going to do is want to create a Google Doc, okay? So you'll click on the little squares there and go to Google Docs. And you're going to start with a a blank document. And we're going to title the document up here. You'll put your name, but I'm just going to put author media kit. But like, let's say if your name was Andrea Taylor, you'd say author Andrea Taylor's media kit. Okay. If that was your name. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's moving around. Okay, and so then I would just put that at the heading as well. And I'll just make it a little bigger because this is the heading. So we'll make it like 14 inch font, 16. Bold it, center it, boom. Next thing you're going to want to do is um, you can add your questions in first if you want to so then you'll want to move everything to the left make sure it's not bolded anymore and you can choose the numbered list so when you choose the numbered list it'll number it for you if you see that one two three click the numbered list and question one is let's say tell me about yourself so that's kind of a statement, but a you know an implied question. Um, 
And now these are just questions I'm making up, okay? Probably the ones I had before would be better for you, the ones that I tell you to pause and, and read. But I'm just making these up on the fly to show you how to write this out. Can you share your writing process with us? So these are questions the interviewer is going to ask you. So you'll already be prepared. You'll know, oh, this is what they're going to ask me so I know right what to say. And they already know what to ask you. It's a win-win situation. Tell me about yourself and then, you know, you'll just um, keep on writing questions until you've got 10 questions, okay? After you've got your 10 questions, you'll go ahead and do your author bio. Go ahead and, oh yeah, and this font can go probably back down to 12 for the questions. And then your author bio, you'll want to bold that, center that. And if you have it saved to your computer, then I would just um I would just go and find it in Word or wherever you have it saved. For instance, here's my author bio. And I'm just gonna copy. I'm just gonna copy and then go back to the Google Doc that I'm making and paste it. Now it made it bold, so I'm just going to highlight that and remove the bold. Make sure it's centered left. I mean, it's left justified or left aligned, and it is. And like I said, most people's bios is much larger than mine. So there's there's our there's your ten questions. There's your setup for your author bio. Now you can bring in your author pick. So with the, in order to bring in pictures. You'll want to always make sure you have double tapped away from the last thing you did and then hit the insert button and you'll hit the image and it'll say upload from your computer. Click that, go and find your image that you want to put in. Let's just keep it simple since this is our first time doing this. I would suggest just one author photo. Unless you're just really comfortable with uh, with making stuff online or making stuff on the computer, if you now if, if you want it smaller, if you don't want it to take up a whole page, you can click on it. You'll see these blue points. Now you don't want to distort the image, so you know like I wouldn't pull this down because it'll actually distort the image. But like, let me show you what I mean. If you do like this. See how the image starts to get distorted? Not only is it making it smaller, but it's also distorting the image. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you. And anytime you mess up, you can hit the back, the undo button, and to get back to where you were. So if you want to make this smaller, in order to do that without distorting the image, click on the image. You'll see these blue square points all around it. The only points you want to pull from are the corner points. Uh, and you want to pull to the diagonal. And see, then it will get smaller without distorting the image. Okay? So I've made that smaller. Um, and then what you want to do if you want it centered, so right now it's left aligned. If you want it centered aligned, then just click center. And there you have it, boom, there's your author. So now we've got our, our media kit questions for the interviewer, we've got our author bio. And of course, I'm not doing this as elaborate as you would. I'm doing this to show you how, how to set it up. Here's your author photo. And then make sure you double space twice. Otherwise, the pictures tend to just get messed up and delete each other and everything else. If you accidentally delete your picture, you can push undo, the undo button, though, like I showed you. But hit, hit return twice. Then go ahead and insert your um, book cover. So whatever you have. Some, if, if you have a 3D image that I sent you guys, you can, you can use that. Um, if you have the flat book cover, 
You can use that, okay? Um, wh whichever, if you have just the front facing cover, you could use that. It's all fine. So, I know that you guys probably all have a cover like that. So, you can send that. And boom, you there you go. You've got your media kit, okay? Now, it might be a little, it, it's simple, a little more simple, but effective, okay? So you've got your, your questions, your bio, your author pick, and picture of your book. And then all you need to do so that whoever's interviewing you is able to pull these pictures off without distorting them and without having a hard time, go ahead and go into file and then publish this to the web. Okay, so it's gonna ask you, do you wanna publish it to the web? Um, I'm gonna publish it to the web. Are you sure you wanna publish this? Yes, I wanna publish this to the web. So now that I've published it to the web, I can share it by email, by Facebook, I can even tweet it out. And then here, you can always copy this link in order to share. So I'm gonna copy that. And then when I, I'm gonna send an email, we're gonna just, I'm just gonna send an email to myself so you guys can see how this goes, okay? So now, so um, like say, let's pretend it was Ann Wooten Taylor, who I know is interviewing a, um, a lot of you. Here's a link to my media kit, which includes my bio, interview questions, Lord have mercy, can I type today? Interview questions, what else is on there y'all? Here's a link to my media, not my media kid, my media kit, which includes my bio, interview questions, comma, and photographs, I'm just gonna say that. Okay, boom, boom. And then paste that link in there. And then just make sure, for some reason, just make sure you have a space between the last paragraph and the link. For some reason, it doesn't put it in there. Thank you, boom. I've already got like a, email signature. So I sent that to myself, so we'll be able to look at it. All right, so if this was the interviewer for Eating as an Act of Worship, which is Ann Wooten Taylor, um, I'm thanking her for having me on the podcast. When she, If she was to open this, she would click that link, and then this is what she would see. She would see it now condensed as a little website. Um, it's not, you know, it's on the web, but it's not, it's not what you want to use as your website, but she would see your media kit, author Andrea Taylor's media kit. Okay. And so then she could go in here, grab your pictures, read your questions, read your bio, grab this picture and put it up on her social media to publicize. You're going to be on her show, et cetera, et cetera. Now, some other things that I don't have on my media, on my actual media kit that eventually I will have are things like um, press releases, which I do plan on writing some press releases. Um, you can even put other other interviews that you've done. Um, and yeah, so that is the easy one, two, three, P, easy peasy. Let me know if you guys have questions. And that is it. Salamonic Mac. Talk.